mountain would have been a conspicuous landmark from day one, say 4,000, 4,200 BC. You will see it all the way from Sri Lee in Donegal, or even from beyond Belenair. Mm -hmm. Originally, we might have had 80 passage tombs on this peninsula, the largest group of passage tombs in Ireland. I prefer to call them sites with burials rather than burial sites. They do tell a much bigger story. In the Neolithic, it was a major ritual center. It's something that was more linked to the mindset than a daily routine. The deposition of, of bones was one part. We just haven't a clue about the song, the dance, the movement. How does memory remain? What kind of stories are kept and what does kind of stories go? A long line of stories trying to recreate. It's a blurred kind of aspect of what is what. Maeve's Mountain or the Queen Maeve's Grave. People return for various reasons. In this case we're talking millennia. The cairn becomes part of the mountain and the mountain becomes part of the cairn. Some kind of routeways, some kind of ritual path. They might have been pilgrims. How do we forget stories? We tell them to each other and they change.